20 years on, many Iraqis, relatives of people killed or who disappeared during Saddam Hussein's rule, are still waiting for answers. Among them, Hassan Mohammed. His brother was shot dead and dumped in a mass grave. He himself survived execution. They were among a group rounded up as Hussein's troops crushed a mainly Shiite uprising at the end of the 1991 Gulf War. They brought us here in open trucks. There were more than 50 people. Two others were brought with me. We were taken to the pit. When I reached the edge, I saw a pair of legs, my brother's legs. He had fallen inside. Nobody can describe such moments. He led a team to the site of the mass grave in 2013. Dozens of bodies were exhumed and identified, but not his brothers. Iraq's Martyrs Foundation, a government body involved in identifying victims and compensating relatives, says over 260 mass graves have been unearthed so far. Dozens are still closed. More than 250,000 missing persons are officially registered with the government. The numbers we physically received of bodies, which were exhumed and examined, is more than 4,000. The Health Ministry's Mass Grave Department has identified and matched DNA samples of around 2,000 individuals. Aside lack of resources, the work is slowed down by the priority given to investigating more recent massacres committed by Islamic State militants. One disappearance that remains unexplained took place in Saklawiya near Fallujah in 2016, where Shiite militiamen reportedly seeking vengeance against Islamic State rounded up Sunnis. Local women have searched for their husbands, fathers and sons for years. We searched for them on government databases. We went to court and searched their computers. They said they searched all the prisons. There's no trace of them. Iklas Talal is seeking to have her husband officially recognized as a martyr so she can claim a small pension. In all, 14 of her male relatives disappeared.